You're gonna regret asking me this question. Let's get into my thoughts on Moina. We all know a big part of the reason that we buy luxury goods is for the exclusivity and social status that comes along with it. When you have a house this old, i.e. 1849, we tend to base this entire business model on that. If you're gonna base your entire model on your house being so old, your bags need to be the most distinct on the market. A perfect example of a house that does this is Delvo. If you know, you know, and when you see a Delvo bag, you instantly recognize it. When I look at these bags, I get Ferragamo mixed with Furla. There's a very clear exclusivity tactic that is being used at brands like these where the prices aren't listed publicly. But let's be honest, if we're comparing the exclusivity levels between Moina and Hermes or Goyard, those actually matter in the real world. The clients that buy this brand absolutely think that it's vital to be the only ones that carry this bag, which lucky for you is pretty much guaranteed that you will be the only person carrying this bag. I don't particularly think these bags are bad, I just don't find them distinct enough to form an opinion on them. And if that means I have bad taste, you know what, this time, I think I'm okay with that.